In the previous presentation, I constructed the precedence diagram. What we're going to do in this presentation is to calculate the early start, early finish, late start and late finish of the activities. We call the calculation of early start and early finish the forward pass. We calculate from left to right. And when we calculate the late start and the late finish, we call it the backward pass. We calculate back from right to left. When we look at the calculations, we have to use some formulas. And when we do this calculation, it is very important to look at these elements before. In the part just before this, I showed you how we calculate what's the difference when we start from zero or from one. In this case, we will start from one because we don't have the zero day in the month, year zero doesn't exist and things like that. What we have to calculate the early finish of an activity, we start from the early start, we add the duration and we subtract one. For the next activity, we have to find the early start based on the predecessor information. So we look at all the early finish of the predecessors and we take the maximum value and we add one. That will be the early start for the successor activity. Let's have a look at this calculation. First of all, A, A plus 1 minus 1 is 1. B, 1 plus 1 plus 3 minus 1 is 3. And for C, I have 1 plus 2 minus 1 is 2. Now we can continue with the successor. D has two predecessors. And like I said, we have to take the latest early finish, which is 3 plus 1 is 4. 4 plus 1 minus 1 is 4. And we can calculate the early start of F and G, which are respectively 5 and 5. So F will finish on time 6 and G at time 5. H I cannot calculate yet because I still have to get the early start and early finish of activity E. Okay, E can start the earliest at period 3. 3 plus 2 minus 1 is 4. So we have here the predecessors of age F, 5 or 4. So I take 5 and plus 1, which gives me 6. 6 plus 3 minus 1 is 8. So this is basically the first calculation that we have. And we find that the project duration is equal to 8 periods. The next thing what we have to do now is to calculate the late start and the late finish of all the activities. Like I said before, this is called the backward pass and we calculate from right till left. Let's have a look at the formulas that we are going to use. We have the late start is the late finish minus the duration plus one. And the late finish of the predecessor is the minimum value of the late starts of all the predecessors minus one. In our example, we say that the late finish of the project is equal to 8. So basically, early finish and late finish of the project are equal to each other. So we have 8. 8 minus 3 plus 1 is 6. Now we can go to activity G and E. We can in fact say this is also 5 and 5. We calculate the formula for G, 5 minus 1 plus 1 is 5, 5 minus 2 plus 1 is uh, 4, so C has a late start of 3 and a late finish of 2. Now we have to continue here with F. Now what is the late finish for F? We have to see the late finish of the project is the period or the time we have to start from. F can finish not later than 8, than this value. I see sometimes people writing here 6. That's not correct. We have to see what is the end date of the project. 
the end date of the project is period 8. So F can finish until period 8. It will not change anything to the project duration. We calculate back, so we find here 8 minus 2 plus 1 is 7. We have 5 and 7, we take the lowest value, so we have 4. 4 minus 1 plus 1 is 4, so we have 3 and 3 here. And then we find 3, 4, 8, 3 minus 1 plus 1 is 3, 3 minus 3 plus 1 is 1. So basically this is the final result of the backward pass. We finish the forward pass, we finish the backward pass, so basically we finished this part of the exercise. We will use this in the next presentations to look at the critical path. I'm looking forward to seeing you there. Thank you and bye-bye.